Hi there, just uh, a little video about a, a Fiamma 45i awning uh, I've just purchased off of Gumtree for £50. Uh, there's a reason it's uh, £50 obviously. Uh, it uh, caught some wind and blew off a motorhome. The person that I bought it off had a replacement through the insurance company and then they were selling this on Gumtree. Uh, the reason I bought it is because doing my van conversion I want to try and uh, re-register it to a motor caravan and the uh, the weakest link on the requirements is the awning. Uh, I've already submitted it once and it came back uh, changed from a panel van to a van with windows and I think the, the weakest link is the awning because I just had a just a C rail stuck to the side of the van. Although the DVLA uh, require it to be, uh, they just say an awning rail. <clears throat> My suspicion is that this is the weakest link. So I just want to stick something up uh, that looks like an awning. But there are a few, a few problems which uh, I'm, I think I can overcome. Um, I've already taken the end caps off just to expose uh, the mechanism I've um, might be a bit noisy oh yeah you can you can see the bend in the in the cover there so there's a few a few problems I've already decoupled the the actual screen uh, the this bit slides into this rail uh, and there's a couple of screws once it's in that uh, screw into the end connect into the into the hollow uh, one either end and that gives you the um, the tension and also stops the canopy sliding one way or the other so it's a few things it's it's too long uh, we don't want it this long so we're, I'm going to cut, cut the canopy, the, the cover and the, the main body uh, to where we want it. Uh, we're going to slide all these bits along to where we want them. A um, couple of the big problems is that the, uh, this lug here where the, where the, the arm uh, folds out the, the fixing on the on the movable part of the awning is has broken so I'm probably going to have to uh, make up something it's not too hard uh, I can I can make that out of uh, out of something or or I might be able to build up this um, aluminium just to give it the, the diameter needed and then we drill that out. It's cast aluminium so I'm going to have to buy some uh, 400 series aluminium tick rod to do that. Uh, it's been taken apart quite a bit. Uh, you see the spring, the spring is off its location there so that'll all have to go back on. Uh, coming down we we haven't got the centre support rail for some reason. Don't know why. Um, maybe that that blew off and disappeared uh, when you had the accident. Who knows? The other end, the other concertina leg, folding out leg, uh, is also pretty pretty broken. Uh, but again, with some 400 series rod. Uh, that should go back on. We're not even sure if we really want to use an awning eventually, so we'll we'll put it on, uh, take the photos to uh, submit to the DVLA, and and hope that's uh, all that's needed. But uh, yeah, there's quite a there's quite a bit of dents and and, and damage done to the awning but most of it should come out 
I'm, I'm pretty sure all these all these bits can just be loosened and moved along uh, as far as they can obviously the leg sort of has a minimum a minimum distance it can go into that track and then the next leg can go pretty close to it and then with this coupling onto there uh, it means that we can probably cut the, the whole length of the rail down by about a metre which should be okay like I said it's it's really mostly just for aesthetics uh, to please the DVLA, DVLA I might even completely unfurl the the actual canopy and take it out uh, because it's there's a bit of weight to it as well um, and we're we were fully laden 200 kilo we had about 200 kilo spare and this must be this must be 20 30 kilos I would think maybe more anyway that's the plan when I get it into the workshop we'll go through it a bit more and see what we can make of it I was hoping to to maybe take this this end portion off but the there seems to be a tension rod in there I presume that's keeping the the wires and the um, I'm trying to say yeah the wires there's a wiring system that goes run around these the the end knuckles and somewhere in there there's a there's a tension spring so I'm wondering whether as that's threaded I can get a a, a thread uh, a long nut on there with an eye and it looks like that'll pull pull out of its housing so we pull it out and then if it's on a, a long enough piece of rod uh, I'm, I'm presuming it'll want to pull itself back down the tube but release this anyway we'll get into the workshop uh, in a couple of weeks uh, and have a look the only other broken part is that will need replacing is this this end cap here uh, which which fits on the outside canopy um, that really has broken away so I'll have to get a replacement one of those there they're a few pounds not too bad but yeah there we are next project we'll see how it goes cheers <laughs>